This is such a mood stopping in the middle of my makeup to watch an alphabet live. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Tara. I asked you on TikTok what you want to see on the YouTube channel and you said, do you kind of want to like get ready with me while answering some of your guys' questions? So I have your questions here on my iPad. So if I keep looking down, I'm looking down to questions. I actually have a bit of makeup on, so it's going to be a get unready with me and then get ready with me. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of you asked how old I am. A lot of people on TikTok actually don't know how old I am. So I'm 18. I just turned 18 in October. Whenever people hear like how old I am, they always get like a bit shocked because they always say that I look older than I am. I don't see it. Like, but it's also been kind of a blessing because if I was going out, like I've been going out like in pubs and I'm like kind of like 16, 17 and I've never been ID'd. Well, I've been ID'd twice. So I got ID'd first when I was 17 me and my friends we were just going over to like the local pub like it's literally sorry, right beside the house and we found out there was a triple 18 ton so we we're like okay there's actually gonna be a crowd there that we know but since there was a triple 18 they had bouncers on the door and i am actually so shocked at my reflexes at this point because like when we got to the door the bouncer was like asking for ids and i just kind of looked around and i was like oh we don't have them with us and he turned around and he was like how old are you and i said straight away without even thinking the 10 to the 10 to 2002 <laughs> I don't know why, but 2002 was the only number that could pop into my head that like was 18. Well, over 18. Because my sister Shauna, she was born 2002. And it was the first time that came to mind. And he was like, look, if you don't have ID, we can't really do much. Are you with one of the girls inside? And we turned around and said, we're, no, we're just coming over. Like, we didn't even know. It's actually handy because since we're over there, since it's the local pub, the owner knows me. But the owner came out and he was like, her, I know you, but I can't. Like, you don't have IDs. And I was like, no, no, it's fine. It ended up being grand because there's like a pub right beside it. <laughs> Okay, so the next question is, are you in college? No, I'm not in college. I'm in my leaving cert year. You're gonna see how really rough I look. <laughs> I do plan on going to college. I don't know what I want to do yet, but like a few options I have in mind, they do involve going to college. But I'm also, um, recently I've been thinking about doing a body piercing apprenticeship. So for ages, I was unsure about what I was doing. I was kind of going back and forth. We had a careers night at our school. I, before I was thinking, I've had it in my head for a while that I wanted to join the guards. But then like, I don't know, new options showed up. Like I like thought about nursing for a while, going to be an SNA. But um, on the careers night, um, I was talking to this guard that I know. And he basically said to me, and he said the best thing for me to do was to wait a few years and then go to join the guards. He said, Oh, it's not very nice. I haven't used this before. If I go to be a guard now, I'll be, what, 19 when I go to be a guard. But he said that, say if someone was to break into my house and call the guards, am I going to feel that, like, safe with a 17 or 18-year-old showing up at my door? And I thought that was actually really smart. I'm thinking of doing seven or eight years as a body piercer and then go off and be a guard. I just feel like then years time, I can always say that I tried the both of them. It's not because they're the things that are really sticking out to me the most, but they're so different. So this way I can look back and I won't be thinking, what if I went off and did the other? Because I would experience both. Okay, so next question I have is how many piercings do you have? I have 12 piercings, my lip, my tongue, my septum, my nose, my seconds. I did have my third stump, but got really infected and like, died i have my seconds my tragus my helix my nipple and my belly button someone asked what are your next piercings that you plan to get so i have a few piercings like i have this kind of list in my own head of piercings i want to get if i don't like them i can always take them out but i want to see what i look like with them as you can tell i really like my facial piercings i like my facial piercings more than i like my ear piercings for me it's just facial piercings i immediately see I'm like mm, yeah i have my piercings i i love my piercings it gives me such a confident boost so i'm very quick to get facial piercings first I have very little in my ears compared to my face now don't get me wrong i do like ear piercings so i do want to fill out my ears more i'm pretty content with how many facial piercings i have at the moment and with that being said i'm still in school so i get killed over them i'm done with like the facial piercings for a while but what I want to do first, I want, to, I want to get more piercings in my ears, but I want to do it over time. I have a really bad problem with my ear piercings. I always, no matter what it is, it could be my lobes, it could be my tragus, it could be my helix. I get, I don't know if it's a care thing I'm doing. I try my best to look after them. I sleep with my travel pillow. I clean them when I have to clean them. But I've just always had trouble with my ear piercings. I remember with my helix. I first got my helix as a double helix. Same day as my septum. 
my septum healed in like a week too it was so fast my double helix it got so bad i like had just you couldn't even see the back of the balls anymore that the bumps have gotten so big so i went down to be pierced be pierced is a piercing shop in wexford that's where i get all my piercings done they're amazing down there oh my god i love them so i went down to be pierced i was texting the page beforehand i was like okay i don't know what to do help me he texted me he's like okay tara you need to come down in the next like day or two so i went down and they're really good they got the piercings out for me but i remember liam gave me the jewelry in a bag and you could literally see lumps of the bump of the piercings he changed up the jewelry and everything so they actually healed really really well the bumps were totally gone on it and then they just came back more the bottom one than it was the top one was out in the summer i mean my friends were just out I lost the ball of the jewelry and i was like look it'll be fine till i got home it was stay in my ear and it fell out but the second it fell out i caught it i like cleaned it and i tried to put it back in would not go back in that piercing was shut but I think it's the best thing that ever happened because ever since that closed up, my helix is, it's fully healed. I haven't had one problem where she doesn't get irritated, she doesn't do nothing. I can leave her unjewelry for days and she'll open back up for me. She is a gem. But the same with my tragus. I actually got it done the day I passed my theory test as a like little trick to myself. Oh my God, I never had so, like I thought the double helix was bad. This shit is stubborn. She is stubborn. But like, she's like, she's like, mm, no, I tricked her. She will completely heal. The bump will go down. It will be fine for like two or three days. Like, perfect. Next thing, it just explodes overnight. Explodes. I mean, big purple bump on her. And then she'll go back down. But then she'll come back even bigger. I have tried everything with this shit. And I really don't want to take her out because I think she's so pretty. And I'm afraid if I take it out, the bump is just going to stay there. But I do want to fill out my ears a bit more, but I want to take it in time so that I have time for all the piercings here. I don't want that, that I have like 20 piercings on each ear that has bumps and lumps all over them. Okay, so next question was tattoos. I have one tattoo, like an arrow going through a snake, but you can see like the flowers and like, there's like a little like circle going around there. I think it's very cute. I've always wanted a snake tattoo. I was originally going to get it on my leg. I kept seeing photos of like arm tattoos and I was like, oh my God, they are so fucking nice. And plus people are going to see this a lot more. Yeah, so I got it done in August 2023. I love it. Do you plan on getting any more tattoos? I am planning on it. I do want to get a big leg piece. And then like a few kind of small tattoos, but I don't have like any big major tattoo plans like you know the leg one's really just my next one i do want to get a tattoo behind my ear though i think they are very cute i want to get like a butterfly or like a moon or something someone else asked are you driving no <laughs> i have my theory test done i have a car i just don't have a learner's permit or a license <laughs> like it's not like i don't want to learn to drive i do really want to learn how to drive that's why i was mad to get my theory test done but just like with things that I get nice sight forms and everything, it's just, I've been kind of lackadaisy to do it. And plus like another side to it, getting started and driving is very expensive. I am trying to get a job, but I find it very hard to get a job. One would be in a student, it's hard to find a job that just wants people on the weekends and evenings. And like, since I don't have a job, I cannot fund learning to drive right now. Like my mom and dad have been very good like they paid for my theory test they paid for my car my father got it because his van isn't run so he's just using that until he can get a new van but they got the car as something that i could drive they made sure it was under 1.6 liters because they wanted it they were hoping when my dad finds a van that he can use that the car will then be mine so like they basically oh I put too much cancer on this, I don't want to go. Um, so I don't want them to have to pay entirely for me to get driving. Right. I want to be able to pay for my own lessons. I want to be able to pay for my own, own insurance. They already have two, well, it's soon to be two, a car and a van to tax and insurance. I don't want them to have to do that for me as well. So someone asked if I'm in a relationship. I am. I'm like, um, seven months. Actually, my um true uh friends i actually hadn't a clue who he was it's just so funny though because like i swear people just come into your life like they just spawn in you don't expect someone coming into your life and then they just do how did you get here so someone else asked my friendship story i wasn't gonna tell this one but it's actually kind of funny 
so it was in first year or maybe the summer going into first year i'm not that quite sure it was a sweater that i'd gone out with but it was one of them like it was just over like the phone like really close to me but like we just never met up he broke up with me because he was like look you're never in like, like i don't get a chance to see you there's no point maybe when you start going to secondary school but i think it's so funny because the next day i went into town <laughs> but we were after breaking up but like my friend group was kind of his friend group so like I was gonna see him, friends would come to me and be like, are you gonna shift him, are you gonna shift him? And I was like, no. I'm a very awkward person when it comes to things like that. Like I seem like I'm outgoing, but I'm actually not. Like even like with my boyfriend now, I still get nervous when I go into him. I'm such a like awkward person that way. So um, I was like, no, no way, like fuck that. Like, and I don't know if it was that day or the day after, I'm not quite sure. I was in Ross and they said, we shift him, we shift him, come on. And I said, okay, yeah, whatever. So, like, we went up. There was, like, a shop, like, literally a woman at walk up the road. It was, like, an alley behind it. <laughs> so, we went there. But there was, like, two two walls on the alley. So, he was standing at one wall. And I was standing at the other. So, like, we were, like, opposite each other. But there was, like, a good, like, m meter or two between us. And I just kept looking out the alley. And he was, like, look, you don't have to if you want to. And I was, like, oh, I just don't want them looking at us. <laughs> I stood there for like a minute, like just not shifting the spell and he was just waiting. Like, I think back and I actually want to die. Stop shifting whatever. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't that great. <laughs> about my siblings. So I have two siblings. I have an older sister named Shauna. She is 22. And I have a younger brother, Jay, who is 10. Maybe me in the middle. I don't lie, I miss being the younger child, the youngest child. Me and Sean, there's only like a four year age gap. Between Sean and my brother, there's a 12 year age gap. He was a bit of a surprise. <laughs> someone asked my worst experience, me and someone from TikTok. So I haven't like had a bad experience meeting another like TikToker or anyone I have met on TikTok has been lovely. I can think of time I met someone who follows me on TikTok or like knew who I was. So this was actually like recently. I was out in the pub for a friend's 18th and I was in the bathroom with my friend. This girl came out of the toilet and she seen me and there's this look from people. You can tell that they're kind of looking at you and be like, wait, what? She was looking at me and then she came up to me and she was like, oh my God, are you tired of her? Or are you the one off TikTok? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this girl was lovely. She was there saying that I look amazing, that I, her, she finds my videos really funny, things like that, like really lovely. The more I was talking to her, like I was drunk at this point, the more I was talking to her and I was looking at her, I was just thinking, you are off your head. <laughs> now, I mean, this girl's jaw was swinging. She was talking 100 miles an hour. And like, if you do that, that's your own business. I personally don't. I'm not judging, but you know that feeling when you're like, I'm not nearly on your level. You know what I feel like if you go to a pub and you didn't have any free drinks and everyone else was drunk and you just feel like, oh my God, I am not on your level. Like, just please shut up. You're just not enjoying the vibe. She is having the best time of her life <laughs> off her face. She just keeps like talking to me like over and over and over saying the same things. And I'm like, I just wanted to get away from her, but it wasn't like, she was saying anything bad so i couldn't really be like right okay like i felt so guilty walking away but she was proper doing my head in and my friend was trying to like get out of the bathroom and we just couldn't get away from this girl now again she was lovely she was giving me such an ego boost she was also giving me such a migraine okay so next one is the best event you have been to but i haven't been to like many events realized i was invited to some and i never knew <laughs> any like proper events i've gone to is with my sister shauna when we go when i go up to dublin to see her for a while that my favorite was was a red bull event that me and shauna and ryan went to it was a bit odd but like since like red bull is like such like a big name it's a big brand and it was going to this event like it was a proper event like the setup was amazing and like i met a lot of amazing people there like the people there were lovely i think it was just a proper like real social event like the other one i went to was the quantum mania premiere so that was like a real social event so i really enjoyed that one i definitely think that has to be number one 
one that was actually asked quite a lot is why doesn't my boyfriend do tiktoks with me or why he's not really shown in my tiktoks but i'm like shane is not really like that kind of like he's not that person on tiktok that like shows his face and all like he makes videos about his car and all he wouldn't be like one show's face tiktok so i'd never actually like really ask him to do a tiktok or anything like it's not that i have a problem with asking to do a tiktok but it'd be probably more like one for us just for us like taking the piss like or something like that and plus like if like in the future me and shane were to break up it would be a very public thing it would be very noticeable if i suddenly just took down all the videos of me and him and everything i have been in a relationship like that that i did post my boyfriend quite a lot but even then like i've never made like an actual tiktok tiktok post and i'm just like kind of like edit <laughs> I couldn't talk myself, it's okay. Like, even when me and him broke up, anytime I went live, I'd be like, oh, what happened with you? And, you know, it's not nice, like, being constantly reminded. Like, I'll still have people come into my life now and be like, oh, what happened with you? And it's been nearly two years, please, go. But that just, like, backs up when people say, like, things you put on the internet is there forever. So someone asked, does being Shauna's sister bother you? Sorry, I had to go finish my eyes off camera. I cannot talk while I'm doing my lashes and all, I'm sorry. No, being Shauna's sister doesn't bother me. If, if you don't know, my sister is Shauna Dava or Shauna the Sheep. Like, not her as a person. Like, that doesn't bother me, like, obviously. She's a lovely sister. She's a great sister. You honestly can't ask for better. But, like, from a, like, TikTok and all kind of view, to an extent, I guess it kind of does bother me sometimes. So, obviously, Shauna has a lot larger following than me. So, I knew on some level I was going to be known for being her sister, which I'm okay with. Like, with that being said, it has affected, like, a few things. Like, it has come in the way of trying to meet a fella, things like that in the past. There was a lot of fellas when I was single start trying talking to me. Once I kind of got attached, that's when they'd be like, oh, can I FaceTime Shauna? Can I talk to Shauna? And I'm like, wow, you really didn't just do that. I got really lucky with my boyfriend now. We first met, like, through a friend. He knew me as her friend. And one day, this guy that my friend was talking to, he came on the spin with us. And he copped on, he was like, oh my god, you're tired of her. <laughs> And Shane was even there like, what? You're tired of what? And I was like, oh my god. I won't mind. I stopped for like half an hour to eat Doritos. So yeah, on some extent, being Shauna's sister does bother me. But I wouldn't change it. She is still the best sister in the world. Okay, that is my little get ready with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!